Okay, so here's what we started with on Emily's bathroom. It had a very small footprint, 74 inches this way by 90 inches this way. Um, and this was wasted dead space, which really hurts when you have such a small footprint. So right here, they had just blocked this out and above the vanity, there was a couple of shelves that were really deep and very hard to access, but there was a little bit of storage space in there. There was a real small vanity, and then there was an HVAC supply air right here, so air was actually blowing out of this. They couldn't cover it up. Um, they had a door that actually swung into the bathroom, so because of that, they squashed the toilet all the way over next to the shower. There was very little room right here. Um, and the shower, so this was the water wall for the shower, um, so I go in and I draw this up and I measure it off and I look at Emily and I say, okay, what is your main goal? And she said, Aunt Star, if I could just get more space, I would be really happy because here's what she said would happen. This is our only bathroom in their house, by the way. She said, if somebody is sitting here and you're just even trying to wash your hands and you bend over to rinse them, your rear end is right in this person's face. She said it was just, there was just not enough room, period. This, you know, the shower had a sliding door on it that pushed back this way. They had this one little narrow pathway right here to get into it. It was just really, really inconvenient. So when she told me that her goal was space, I started looking around the bathroom to see what was going on. So this is an exterior wall. That's in the patio where the home is out here. Their laundry room is on this side. So this wall already had water in it. It had water in it for the sink. It has water in it for the washer and dryer. Didn't want to get into moving all that because that would cost a lot of extra money. So I thought, okay, this wall's got to stay where it is. This is a hallway. I knew I couldn't come this way. So I couldn't go this way, this way, or this way. Thank goodness right here was a closet. And so I started looking to that space to think, how can I utilize it? So... Um, the doorway to get into the closet, I kind of didn't want to move. They had already done, um, remodeled some of this room out here. So it already had nice casing around it and so forth. So I measured from this wall to the, um, casing around the door and I had 20 inches right here. So I thought if I gain 20 inches, what can I do? So I had 74 and a, and a quarter inches. So if I add 20 onto that, I'm going to have 94 and a quarter inches. I know a shower is five foot long or a tub, that's standard. So that gives me 60 inches. Um, so if I subtract that, I was gonna have 34 and a quarter inches left over. So then that got interesting. I thought, now I can do something with that. So in my mind, I thought, okay, I'm gonna slide this wall down. This wall is gonna come this way. So if I slide this wall down and, and just in my mind, I thought, okay, what if this door's open? What would it look like if I bumped into the room a little bit and took some space, just framed me up a little wall here, and then did this. I knew I wanted to get rid of this dead space. When you have a bathroom where you don't, um, when you have such a small amount of floor space to work with, you don't have wasted space like this. So we got rid of this wall, moved everything this way. Let me get another drawing and I'll show you what we ended up with. So again, this is the hallway, exterior wall of the house. This is the closet. So this is where I bumped this wall out and moved it over. So what we decided to do was put our tub here, tub slash shower. We put up a wall here at the end and we made a little alcove that um, this is where the toilet sat. So toilet and we put in a window here. Emily's goal was to get more space. My personal goal for her was to keep was to get some natural light so the window helped a lot with that and then with this little bump out we thought we could do a built-in to give her some extra storage space for towels and toilet paper and things like that she's got this corner where she said that she was thinking you know i could hang a nice long full-length mirror here we'll put an outlet right here beside it and you know if if jared is busy shaving doing whatever getting ready in this spot then right here i can be fixing my hair so I thought that was a good idea. We changed it to a pocket door, which freed up a lot of space in the room. We took that HVAC supply vent that was here and we put a boot on it and ran it out through the um, toe kick of the vanity so that we could get some um, get our air that way and be able to move this vanity all the way to this wall. 
We made the vanity as big as we could. I can't remember what it ended up being off the top of my head, but it was a pretty good size vanity. And um, we just did one sink so that they would have counter space. Um, if we had put two sinks in here, they would have had a tiny little piece of counter space and, and she was she was not interested in that. This spot right here on my drawing looks pretty big. I was trying to keep it at six inches but it actually ended up getting quite a bit smaller than that because with our design, I had wanted to try to either put a skylight right here or a window up above this, but the fact of the matter was it just wouldn't work out. This, um, let me see, their ceiling is a little lower in there. So on this outside wall, I didn't have a full eight feet. I only had like seven feet and they were going to vault the ceiling up to here. And they did do that, and it made it feel a lot more open and really nice, but only having seven foot at this outside wall, if I put a window in, it would have really pushed down on us, so that wasn't going to work. So then I'll move to the, putting in a skylight right here, which I would have loved that thought. But when they took the drywall off and uncovered the framing, it was only framed with two by fours, and that's really not good enough to put in a window like that. It, it could have flexed, and I just felt like that the probability that it would leak in the near future was very high. So I had already bought a window, so thankfully I got it at Lowe's and they let us take it back. Um, but this is the layout that we ended up with. 